Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. For all the people who are new here, welcome. I'm Alex and I work as a children's book illustrator full time. And in today's video, I will be showing you how you can add textures to your Photoshop illustration. It's very simple. Let's get right into this, shall we? Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that today I have a little assistant down there. It's my little dog, Quinn. He's having a good time with the ball. Of course, the first thing you'll need is really nice textures. And um, this page I can totally recommend to you guys. It's really awesome. They have many, many different textures here, as you can see. Not only grunge textures like these, but also many different paper textures and um, with patterns even. I really love this site. and. Um, Yes, you can uh, download them for free or you can donate some money to them, which I totally recommend, of course. I think it's a fair thing to do. Okay, so now you've uh, decided you wanted to um, download a certain paper texture and it's already in a folder that you prepared earlier. Um, I have now my Photoshop file here. I already created a few clipping masks with um, the shadings, for example. And what we need now is our texture layer. So I'm going to add a new layer here. And then I go to File. Um, by the way, all of my program's language is in German, um, but I'm trying my best to make it as understandable as possible. So you click up here on file, which is Datei in German. And then you place and embed something. And then you go to your folder, which was for example, my Creative Clouds folder. I have a little paper folder here. And then I choose the paper texture I would like to have in my illustration, which would be this one. This is pretty much my favorite one. And then I click place. And lucky me, it's already a really nice size for my illustration. So I enter that. And then there you can see you need to right click and then render the layer. And then right click again. And you have to create the clipping mask. Now it's only over Toby. And of course, it's <laughs> it doesn't look good like that, right? So we have to change um, what it looks like so that this doesn't look as shitty as this. <laughs> we have to switch over up here. Make sure you have clicked onto the layer you want to, like our paper texture. And then you can change from normal to many different options. Sometimes I also choose multiply, but um, in this case, soft light works the best because it's very light colors here on Toby. So soft light and 100% opacity is what I'm choosing for him. And now you can see the difference when I click to that. And uh, yeah, now it looks quite natural and as if I was drawing onto some paper when creating little Toby. And let's just do the same thing again for the ground where Toby's sitting. So I click onto the new layer and then file, place and embed. I'm going to choose the same paper again, place. Right here, I'm going to switch a little bit to a different size. Yeah, this should do. Then click enter, right click, render file, uh, render layer, sorry. <laughs> then right click again, create clipping mask, and then change it to soft light or any other thing you'd like to have it. Multiply is great too for that floor. It's a little bit dark then. But if we adjust the opacity, it's also looking pretty nice. So I'm going to leave it like this. And that's it already. 
Okay, that's it for today. It was a very short video, but I hope it really helped you guys. And if it did, and if you liked it, then please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because here you get more tips and tricks and information about life as a children's book illustrator. And um, if you have any questions or if you have any wishes for new videos that um, you want me to make, then please leave me some information about that in the comments down below. And the link to the page that I showed you before, I will also leave it down in the description for the video. So that's it for today. I'm going to drink my coffee now because it's actually already cold, but it tastes still good. And I don't know how my voice is making today, but I sound like, um, I don't know, it's just having a party in there. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, so I should stop the video now. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's best for all of us. Um, I wish you all a great week because today is Sunday and um, for me it's also Sunday by the way. And um, yes, stay safe guys and keep on believing in yourselves always, always. And thanks for watching and I love you. Bye!